Um, so do you remember yesterday I said uh, I'm a sort of a public figure and I'm going to say an outrageous thing and watch it not be reported in the news? And so I did, I did this experiment right in front of you. And so far, so good. And what I said was that a major news story that has been reported as fact for three years, meaning that the, the idea that the president called white supremacists fine people, that that fake news, I'm going to call out as a hoax in public, you know, on Periscope, and that you could watch as that is not reported in any other anti-Trump you know, it might be reported in some conservative thing, but watch how it's ignored by the anti-Trump media and ask yourself, is there any other situation in which a public figure, somebody who's at least as public as I am, could call a major news story that's considered a fact, could call that a hoax and give reasons, and it's not reported? It's pretty unusual. And so I told you I was going to do it right in front of you. I'd say it again. The Charlottesville story is a hoax, the way it has been reported on CNN and MSNBC, because the president was obviously, if, you, if you'd step back a little bit, it's obvious that when he said there were fine people on both sides, he meant both sides of the statue question. And indeed, there are fine people on both sides of the statue question. But there are no fine people who were marching with torches and saying anti-Semitic things. So to imagine that the president was talking about that group is false. It's ridiculous. It's defining our, it defines the Trump derangement syndrome. It's the primary element of Trump derangement syndrome. Um, so here's, here's somebody saying, so there weren't Nazis in Charlottesville. Do you have bad reading comprehension, Wayne? Wayne comes in and goes, so, so are you saying there were no Nazis in Charlottesville? No, Wayne. I said the opposite of that. Notice how you can't actually hear it. So the people who are experiencing cognitive dissonance, when I tell them, you know, it's sort of obvious that he was referring to both sides of the statue question. The first time you hear that, if you're like Wayne, and you're thinking, no, I've been hearing for three years that he was talking about the Nazis. That I can't be wrong about that. If that happened to you, you saw Wayne just get triggered into cognitive dissonance. Now, the tell for cognitive dissonance is that you construct a, a world that tries to make sense without you being wrong after you've been proven wrong. So Wayne is so obviously and clearly wrong because once you hear the explanation, it's obvious he didn't mean the, the, the Nazis. I mean, the president wasn't talking about the Nazis being good people. As soon as you hear it, you, you're triggered into cognitive dissonance if you've been listening mostly to that as reported as fact for three years. So imagine you're Wayne and you heard that it was a fact that the president called the Nazis fine people. For three years, you've been told that's a fact. And then you hear me tell you in 30 seconds why it's a ridiculous non-fact. And you know, as soon as you hear me say it, you know my explanation rings true, right? You can feel it, you're like, oh, shoot. Yes, it is obvious he was talking about both sides of the statue question. Why is it obvious? Because he clarified it when asked about it. And he was very clear. No, I'm, I disavow those guys completely. I'm not talking about them being good people. Now, has this president ever backed away from a controversial opinion before? It's not something he does. If he believed that there were fine people in that group of marching anti-Semites, he would have said so. <laughs> because remember, there's somebody else here who says you're grasping. You're grasping. Um, so that's another person who's triggered into cognitive dissonance. And you could watch it here in, in real time. Uh, so Wayne, you, you have something to struggle with. You have to struggle with why. Let's look at the hoax identification here. Let's take Charlottesville as an example. So there weren't any anonymous sources involved because it was a public event. 
is it is it hard to believe that the, a sitting president decided to consciously praise uh, uh, racists who were marching against his own family? They were chanting against Trump's own family. And do you believe that he went on television for the people who hate his family and said, oh, there's some good people in the group who hate my family and hate all, you know, all people who are not white, white, I guess. Is that likely? No, that would be the most hard to believe story of all time. So that should have been your first tip, Wayne. Wayne, when you saw that tip, as soon as you saw the story, you should have said to yourself, well, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> um, then there's the, the others can't see it. Most of the people on this periscope can't see what you see, Wayne. We're looking at exactly the same story and we don't see it. If there's somebody who sees it and somebody who can't see it and, you're and you know you're looking at the same stuff, generally you want to believe the people who couldn't see it. Um, is there an ordinary explanation that fits the facts? Well, yes, there is. The most ordinary explanation is that he was talking about both sides of the statue question. What would be more ordinary than talking about the topic exactly the way he always talked about the topic? That's the most ordinary explanation. Yeah, I was, I was talking about both sides of the statue question, and then when you asked me, I clarified it. Totally ordinary, right? And then there's the Gelman amnesia effect. Um, Wayne, if you were famous, as I am, or if you were an expert on the topic that the news covers, you would understand how often the news is wrong. Wayne, you may be hypnotized by the news into thinking that they're usually right. Oh yes, sometimes they're wrong, but they're usually right. That's reverse, Wayne. Turn that upside down. The news is usually wrong. The news is usually wrong. How do I know that? Just talk to anybody who is an expert on whatever the topic is that the news is talking about. If you find somebody who is personally involved, somebody who's an expert on that, somebody who's actually the subject of the reporting, ask them how, how accurate the news is. It's wrong about 85% 85, 85% of the time. So Wayne, you fell for a hoax and you're experiencing some cognitive dissonance right now. And so you're saying things like, are you saying there were no Nazis there? That's your tell. Because clearly nobody said that. You're actually imagining something that didn't happen because that's what cognitive dissonance does. It, it, it changes your argument until you can be right about something. So you're trying to be right about the attendance of neo-Nazis never was part of the question. Everybody saw it on TV. We all agree that there were Nazis there. Wayne, 